had the opportunity for about five years to really get to know the island. Um, I have, was doing a job for NBC. We were documenting a bunch of stuff for Iron Man. See, one of the things we wanted to make certain is we respected the island. And so when the lava was not somewhere that you could legally get to, we obviously didn't get there. But on about year four, a man that I had reached out to reached up to me and said, hey, just so you know, the lava is in an accessible place. You can get out there and you can see it. And this was in September. And I was about to head out there in October to shoot Iron Man. And so I said, oh, man, thank you so much, dude. I'm going to be out there in October. When I come out there, I'll call you up. And he's like, yeah, look, that's great, but it might be gone. Uh, that was it. I called up Chaz Curry and Brian Hawkins, pretty much convinced them to hop on a plane with me uh, about two days later. And we went out there and just started chasing lava. There is a lot of time lapse. The particular outbreak that we were at was not very fast moving lava. So you had the ability to sit there and really, you know, capture it. Now, the journey was quite insane. It was about an eight mile hike with all your gear. Had I known some of the dangers, I probably, I'd probably still go, but it, it isn't the safest thing in the world. It, it's a very crazy environment. I mean, one of the things I remember very fondly was asking the guy, his name was John. I was like, John, how close can I get to the lava? And he's like, I usually get as close as I can until my arm hairs start burning off. And sure enough, they do. As the lava is approaching you and getting closer, it is insanely hot. 3,000 to 3,500 degrees. A forest fire burning for 16 hours will get to about 3,000. So you can imagine the amount of heat that is produced by this. And again, you know, battle tested. The cameras held up. They were able to take the heat. That's why I choose the cameras I choose, because I need them to work, and I need them to work in extreme conditions. There is never enough of the top of Mauna Kea. When you're up there, it's a spiritual experience. It, it is one of the most mesmerizing places in the world. We went out in September and we shot it, and then fortunately when we went back in October to actually film for NBC, the lava was still happening. And so we rented a boat and we went out there and we just filmed from the boat because I wanted that other perspective. You're excited, so you're, you know, you're being cautious. Obviously you're doing everything with, with care and, and, and cautious and respect, but I gotta tell you, man, you push through some boundaries, at least me personally with fear, because you're, you're, you're walking over lava that has been there for three hours, right? And, and it's hot, it's crazy. But it's a mesmerizing island and, and I got to learn it real well over the six years of shooting it. I got to learn about its people and, and you know, the people there, are, their connection with the island is, is just such a beautiful thing. And so we really wanted to showcase that and, and just, there really is no other place like it.